Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday, quick history lesson. In the Netherlands, where I live, today is the national holiday Queen's Day. On this day, we celebrate Queen Beatrix's birthday, who was actually born in January. Because the celebrations are mainly outside events, we kept celebrating Queen's Day on her mom's birthday, Juliana, our previous queen. This year will be the last time we're celebrating this on the 30th of April. Willem Alexander will be crowned as king and his birthday is three days earlier, on the 27th of April. Next year we will celebrate King's Day. Fortunately we will also still have a queen, his wife Maxima. Why am I telling you all this? The national color of the Netherlands is orange, so I thought it's suitable to do an orange drawing today. Here we go! First I do the background wash. And I let it dry. I kept the area white where I will draw my orange. I start with a basic yellow and fill that in later with reds and orange and all shades that I see in the navel orange, that's my subject. I keep it very loose and it's not a problem at all when the colors bleed into each other. In fact, it's really cool. This way part of the painting just happens. I make sure to leave white as a highlight. Of course we also need a cast shadow. I use orange for this as well. By adding a horizon, it looks more like the orange is on a table. This is an easy way to draw in the sense of surrounding. The orange needs a bit more roundness. So I add a bit of dark at the shade side. The first layer has dried, so I can easily add a second layer that won't be bleeding in. This means I can add some more detail and shading. I'm using a mixture of dark red and blue for a bit more shading. I mix in a bit of blue for the cast shadow. And then it's playtime. I sprinkle some extra color and then it's done. Thank you for watching this video. Would you like to learn more? Have a look at my website koshukuna.nl